We actually use a third-party tool, uh, Galactic Scan from Galactic mm -hmm. Advisors. And what it is is it, it does a, a security scan uh, of, of your machine to start with. And then we can also do it against your Office 365 tenant and make sure that things are locked down in both places. And from there, depending on what, what kind of things that we see, it's going to come up and tell us, oh, your hard drive is not encrypted. Well, is that, that's not necessarily a big deal unless my laptop gets stolen or is, is not in my possession. Um, oh, I, I don't have the security patches. We already discussed that. So I got to make sure I'm doing all those patches. Oh, I'm sharing passwords between multiple websites. It'll it'll or you're saving passwords in your local browser. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the browser isn't very secure at storing passwords. And again, if I get access to your machine, I can get that file and I can crack that and I can get access to a lot of your passwords. So keeping them into a password, a third party password manager is a great idea as well. Uh, and, and it checks for other things uh, on your machine, like if your firewall is enabled and if not, what what ports are available to get into. Again, that goes back to if if I haven't patched my machine and I have these uh, firewall parts open, then I could potentially exploit that computer through the various exploits that might exist on it. So keeping them patched is very critical and then closing down unused uh, ports. Uh, some kind of applications. We've seen that uh, Microsoft Office, for example, can uh, be exploited to get into different parts of your server. Uh, we use uh, application whitelisting which is a software kind of like a, a security balancer at a nightclub that will say, hey, if you're not on the whitelist, you can't get installed. So with those kind of softwares, we can really block a lot of that stuff as well. But the security tool will go and look at a lot of these different areas, tell us, hey, this is what's missing on this particular machine. And then we go, of course, test multiple machines across the network to see if there's uh, you know, patterns or, or problems. Uh, another one is having a local administrator account that may be the same password across multiple machines. So if on your machine, your local admin password is the same as my computer's local admin password, well, that means that I can use that password to get into multiple computers across the network. And if I can do that, then other machines are also at risk, even if your security is a little bit better on your machine compared to mine, if we have that same password. So it's very critical to have not sharing passwords between systems or, or you know, your, your computer systems or your websites and having these other security tools in place.